Melanie. Gotcha. So um, how we do them too, if you want it. You like the sunbeam? Is this your favorite spot? All right, it is time for me to go pick up the lumber for the next batch of charcuterie boards. Hopefully the last batch of charcuterie boards in this shop. I forgot shoes, those are kind of important. Oh, hi. Yes, uh-huh. Thank you very much. He's petting me. I see that? Did I get that on camera? All right, so that's exciting. Last batch of walnut in the shop. Um, oh yeah, a lot of you have asked to do sticker swaps and stuff like that. We only, we're kind of weird. We only do sticker swaps with people that we meet in real life. So if you catch us at an event like Workbench Con, you can get your tickets now or something similar to that. Uh, that's where we do sticker swaps. The only other way to get a sticker from us is if you join the stud stack, so. Is Perry angry at you? He's very angry at me. He just wants to play. I right, well, then we gotta play, I guess, cause he is not happy. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I do not like doing those handwritten cards. It takes forever. And honestly, it's one of the most inefficient things we do here in our business. You're used to our channel saying things like, be efficient, only do the things that are gonna make you money. So why in the world am I sitting here writing a, a, a handwritten note? If we wanted to go fast and be most efficient, we would type up a letter that we printed multiple copies of and stick the same thing in every single box. I mean, you have no idea how many times I've been writing one of these cards and I accidentally like cross an I or dot a T or make a mistake or write an A instead of an E or my hand slips and then I have to write the whole card over again. So why do we even engage in a process as inefficient as handwriting a card and giving out an entirely free board to somebody? We are giving them value and that allows us to have the freedom to do so many things and, and make big sales that we never thought we could make. For example, yesterday, when I went to that mortgage broker's office, it was a gated area with no soliciting signs everywhere. I walked up to the actual house where they worked and there was a huge sign that said, by appointment only, right on the door. And the only reason that I was able to walk in there and not get kicked out was because I was the one that sent free boards and handwritten heartfelt notes. They felt like they knew me. In fact, they already did know me. I wasn't just a solicitor. I was somebody that they wanted to talk to. You've got to make them want to talk to you. Cause yeah, nobody wants to hear from a salesperson, but they do want to hear from a friend or somebody that flooded them with free stuff and value. Hi, hi, hi. 
Now, there's gotta be a balance in this. You can't just go giving stuff away all the time and never ask for the sale or never ask for the money. You still have to turn around and, and get the sale. That's the only way this is gonna work. But you've got to get your foot in the door somehow. And I get it, that's risky. And some people just can't stomach that. I, I get it, it's scary. I wanted to turn around yesterday and not even walk into that building. But those who take the risk and walk in anyway, are the ones who are gonna make the money. That's why business owners make so much money, is because they take the risk up front and reap the reward later. Okay, now we take all of these to the UPS store so they can get sent out. Oh yes, it's always fun getting seven or eight boards out of your car at the same time and making three trips back and forth into the UPS store, but such is life. So if you wanna see the adventure I went on yesterday, watch this video right here. If you are sick of watching cutting boards and you wanna watch us fly through hurricanes instead, click on this video right here. Either way, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Got tape in my hair. Huh. <sighs>